Also up for election on November 4th, 35 Senate seats and all 435 House seats. But as they campaign for re-election, some Republicans are finding themselves in an uphill battle because of the economy and President Bush's unpopularity. Here's NBC's John Yang. Marilyn Musgrave fits the bill for social conservatives, the scourge of abortion rights and gay marriage. But as she asked voters to give her a fourth term in Congress, what do you tell them? Well, first of all, I worked really hard on the farm bill. Battling for her political life in a district that's grown more independent this year, Musgrave is all about keeping it local. That's why she voted against President Bush's $700 billion financial rescue package twice. Some things have changed in this bill, but taxpayers will still be picking up the tab for Wall Street's party. This part of Colorado is rural, conservative, and staunchly Republican. But even here, Musgrave feels the need to talk about being bipartisan and independent. This is uh, her effort to s separate from what she knows is a very, very tough Republican year to get to get some distance between herself and the national Republican image. Analysts say at least six senators could have real trouble in November, and the party could lose as many as 17 seats in the House. Chris Shays of Connecticut is one of the most vulnerable. He's taking a pounding from Democrats. The bottom line is this. Uh, Democrats hope to win by tying everyone to George Bush. The 10-term moderate is an endangered species, the only House Republican from New England, trying to avoid extinction. The hopefulness of Obama, the straight talk of McCain. He's playing it right down the middle. I'm not a partisan Republican. I put my country first, and uh, I'm proud to put my country first. Two very different Republicans in very different states, both running hard, away from their party's label. John Yang, NBC News, Fort Morgan, Colorado.